What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Cooking Simulator. Oh, I was just uh, decorating my, my restaurant here. Just hanging out here. Everything's gonna be fine. Ooh, shrimp salad, tomato bruschetta. Maybe for another time. Oh, it's on this one. Add the bowl sour. Uh, 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 radishes. What? What? We're gonna pass on that. We're just gonna make some regular uh, tomato bruschetta. Something I've never made, ever. Bring it up. Order up. And we're going to talk about five things that I like to see added to the Cooking Simulator video game. Now, there was a recent update to kind of fix a, a lot of bug, uh, bug fixes and uh, help out with certain techniques inside of the game. But nothing too crazy. Nothing that's you know, game-breaking. Other than ladles, they have two different kinds of ladles now. One is 50 milliliters and... Oh, miscellaneous. miscellaneous that's new. Stool, the cookbook, timers. Don't need any of that. But the ladles come in 50 milliliters and now 150 milliliters, which is fantastic because the it should be a little bit more. Because you know, most of your soups and uh, cold things usually around 300 milliliters, so this is kind of nice to just ladle out two of them. But if you're not uh, going to give them too much, then that 50 milliliter ladle is all for you, which is fantastic. A nice little added feature to the game. What I would like to see added, number one, different cutting techniques or like a cutting perk, if you will, where you can take the slice of tomato, which for this particular instance, we have to take tomatoes, 120 grams, which is basically one tomato, and put it in the cubes of 15 grams. You're always guesstimating. You're always guesstimating on what size you're making your cuts. It would be nice to have a perk, maybe not uh, obviously right off the bat, but where you'd hit the slice, and then you move it, it'll tell you exactly how big the slice is that you're cutting. Because when you're going in towards a later game, inside of the main mission, main story mission, you're rolling around, man. Like, you're rolling around. It's going fast, it's going heavy. Well, i to cut this into cubes. Cubes. Or not. <laughs> I'm going to put you down. But when you start getting towards more of a late game, it gets a little bit tiresome when you're trying to cut out perfect things and then you hand in your dish and they think it's fantastic and then boom, you're stuck with the incorrect amount of items pop off that they always seem to tell you. And then it gives you a lesser star on your dish. And that's no buenos. Let's go ahead and we'll just... Can I... Tell me to cut them into cubes, he's on cubes. And it would also help if most of the cutting techniques weren't so, so gummy all the time as well. That'd be kind of a nice feature because when I'm trying to cut this one piece of tomato, boom, it doesn't split. It's not a cube, that's more of a, well, I guess you can call it a cube if you want to. <laughs> that's up to you, completely up to you. But geez, give me some cutting techniques. Let's get this garlic. We gotta take this 10 gram and make it five grams. Oh yeah, now we barely get away with that. Let's put you there. Put you there. Next thing, number two, desserts. I'd love to see desserts. We have utensils like blow torches in the game, but why can't I make? Why can't I make a creme brulee? Why can't I make a cook? Now, of course, cooking and desserts, uh, well, baking and desserts. Baking and cooking are two completely different things. Cooking is more of an artistic. You can throw whatever you like in there and make Make it taste and feel however you wish. But when it comes to baking, it's like a science. Add two parts this, one part this. Let's not stray too far away from the prize here. Um, that could be one uh, setback. Of course, it is cooking simulator, not baking simulator. Maybe a whole different game. I'm just saying it would be nice to have some sort of dessert to add to the game. How big is this slice? I need a 70 gram slice. So that's a 21, that's a 21, wait, that's a 21 gram slice, 42. They want me to give them a how big of a, how big? Bread, 70 grams into slices, 35, oh, 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 still that's pretty big. Let's do this again here. That's 83, that's 71. And if I just cut this one in half, 33, 38, that's about as good as we gonna get. <laughs> Those are thick slices, thick. But I think that uh, even adding some breakfast items as well, a little French toast, maybe a pancake or two. 
I think that would be delicious. But when it comes to the desserts, I think it's definitely a necessary thing. I mean, how do you finish off a dinner without some nice dessert? Maybe like some Oreo cookie ice cream. And that's what I want to get to. And the third thing that I would like to see inside a cooking simulator is an ice cream maker or like a blast chiller where we can have chocolate. We can freeze things, make some crumbles, if you will. Um, it may be a little too intense for the game. I don't know. I'm not a coder. I'm not a programmer. I'm not a developer at all. But having an ice cream maker would be a nice little topper to a dish. Even adding secondary dishes to orders. Where if you have someone uh, order up a bruschetta. And then they also want to order some ice cream. Have some orange sherbet ice cream or vanilla and chocolate. Or just straight up chocolate ice cream. Just grab some cream. Grab some sugar. Mix it up into a bowl, add some Hershey's chocolate, which you could completely be added over here. Maybe add some honey if you want to get a little little crazy with it. And then pour it into the ice cream maker and it pops out a beautiful thing of ice cream. Or if the mix is completely off, it will hopefully light your entire kitchen on fire. I've seen some videos. But ice cream maker, as well as a blast chiller, I think would be amazing, amazing entries into this game that would help out and round out your kitchens, but I really think desserts would round out your kitchen and give you a little something extra, especially when you have things like bananas and strawberries in the game already. I mean, why not? Why not? Add something to make dessert a part of your restaurant's menu. It's so delicious. How can you deny strawberries? I mean, the ice creams. Oh, so good. Okay, we gotta get some olive oil here. Uh, three milliliters per slice. That's, that's four. How about a... Boom. And also we need three sprinkles of garlic. And then we transfer on the bacon tray, which is already there. And that's gonna toast up our items. A toaster would be kind of nice too, but let's not get nuts. Let's not get too crazy. That's two grams. And then we got one, two... Three. Excellent. So that's all primed up and ready for cooking. Now when it comes to the tomatoes and the garlic, we have to transfer it into a bowl, which I've already done. Good, good, good. Add basil leaf. Six grams. Let's go ahead and add six grams of basil leaf. One, two. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, and then we have to put in 15 milliliters of olive oil. Oh, that's 15 milliliters. It's 21 milliliters, it's a little too much. And then 15 milliliters, or 10 milliliters of balsamic vinaigrette. Let's go ahead and we'll add those 10 milliliters right. Ah, we got eight, well, come on. Three, so 11, 11 total. Uh, what else, what else? Sprinkle in salt, five grams. Black pepper, five grams. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. A little extra extra spritz and two, three, four, five. Keeps on saying that there's two. A little extra salt. A little extra salt never hurt nobody. <sighs> Transfer everything onto a plate. We'll get a plate ready for this wonderful dish. I'll get a large dish, if you wish. Now, the fourth thing that I'd like to see added into the cooking simulator is scenarios. My favorite TV show, uh, I would say the past decade, has been all things Anthony Bourdain. Hashtag R.I.P. Anthony or uh, Bourdain. But when it comes to his show, being in different kitchens and learning about different techniques and different uh, dishes being you know, shown throughout the world, I think it would be kind of cool not just to be stuck in our New York City kitchen and maybe put into a scenario where we have five or six dishes in a tiny kitchen in, say, Italy or, or France. Maybe we go into a... Uh, we have a street corner or, or like a, a food truck or something like that. And then we can do dishes real tiny, real night, real nice, uh, real neat, but uh, also compact. So that that way, you not really a whole lot you can do. Here's three dishes. These are the three things you can have. And then you have to get a certain star rating in order to pass. And then if you pass the, uh, the scenario, you get like a new decorative item. Brand new decorative item that is only unlockable through those specific uh, scenarios. Just a way to spice up your kitchen life because uh, once you get through the main campaign it's just uh, kind of going through all this going hmm what else can I do what else can I do well I'll tell you what I can do is drop this stop talkie talkie no more talkie and let's cook up this bruschetta or this toast are those two slices yes they are okay <laughs> I was like what happened to it 
But even like a blast chiller or a uh, an ice cream stand or ice cream maker underneath this is probably a dumb thing to do because this is an oven, obviously. So maybe we have to maneuver some new things around. But I know I don't use this. This I use. I don't use any of this. I don't use any of this. I don't use any of the counter space. I don't use any of it. None. Come on, baby. And you are done, my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll transfer this on to the plate. Now, hold on. We got to have advanced tools. Rotate. Move. Not that way. And... Whew! <laughs> I love the sound effect that it makes like I'm throwing it as hard as I can. Drop it. Drop it. And then we'll rotate this. Move it over. Drop that on there so that way everything looks all nice and pretty like. And now we have to transfer all of this over into our plate. It shouldn't be that difficult. Let's go ahead and put that on there. All of these are going to be... I'm telling you right now, man, they're going to they're gonna hate the fact that I have... Not cut all these up into cubes. Now, how many tomato cubes? 15, yeah, garlic. They're going to hate this. There's going to be too much product. But you know what? This is what they ordered. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Huh? Huh? Oh. All right. So now, what's the problem with this? Guess complaints? Garlic dried. Not enough. How dare you? Not enough olive oil. I douse that. Bad cutting techniques. I would... Have better cutting technique if I knew how much weight I was throwing on here. I couldn't cube them. I could not cube them. Whatever. But last and the final uh, five thing of our list, if you want to call it that list of this video, it's going to be wonderful, fantastic. Things that we need to add into the pantry. What right now is one of the most popular vegetables or fruits, whatever you want to call it, on the market today that we do not have in here avocados we're missing avocados dog listen if you want to take your dish if you want to take some normal bruschetta toast like that and you want to take the uh, price of it from ten dollars to twenty five dollars add avocado no but it's uh, it's a super fruit or super uh, vegetable super plant if you will and it has a different kind of cutting technique that it would take than all the rest of these different dishes if you wanted to slice them up. Because an avocado has a giant seed in the center, so you'd have to kind of cut in, round it out, and slice it up from there, and then add it to toast, or add it to whatever dish. Maybe some ice cream, avocado ice cream with our ice cream maker. All these things can be added. All these things I would like to see. Everything would be delicious and nutritious with some avocado. I think that would be fantastic. I think it would be wonderful, to be honest with you. That's what I would like to see. That's what I would like to see. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What would you like to see inside of Cooking Simulator? What are the things that you would like to have added that maybe I've missed, which I've probably missed a whole bunch? Let's just clean that off. Don't worry about putting any soap into it. We're just going to put it right back and we'll serve it to our next customer. <laughs> I'm an absolute mess. How much is in here? Nothing now because I dumped it all on the floor. Ridiculous. But folks, that is going to be our episode today. I know that we have a little bit of a list video here today, but we tried making some bruschetta and I wanted to see something to keep cooking simulator alive and just see some things that I'd like to ha see added to the game it'll make it even more fun for the chef in all of us not the people that like to burn stuff down but like people who are trying <laughs> but they're putting in the effort I'd like to see that I'm trying to figure out what we need to, to I, I want to cook something else I really want to cook something else but I don't really know what I want to cook because that last one kind of kind of put me under. I'm not really sure. But folks, that is going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, and good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Cooking Simulator next time.